Guys, in this video, we will learn how to add Ajax validation in Laravel application. So in this example, we will create a post form and add the Ajax validation on it. So let's get started with the example. So I already downloaded a fresh Laravel. So let me just open into the sublime. You can see that I simply download and configure database as well. So let me show you that one. So you can see that now let me create the post table first. So let me run the artisan command for it. So I will say PHP artisan Mac migration and I will say create post and table okay and now it's created a migration over here so let me go and simply you can see that now let me add string data type with the title field and then body field with the text data type okay simply save it okay now let me run the migration okay php artisan and migrate okay now it's run and if i refresh it you can see that here created a post table with the title and body column now let me create model for it so i will say php artisan mac model and i will say post okay simply it's created a model over here you can see that post model and let me define the column name over here protected and fillable and i will say title and body okay simply save it okay now let me go and create route so first i need to create controller for it so php artisan mac controller and i will say post controller okay you can see that here created a post controller now let me go and create route over here so i will simply call route and i will say get post and then i will use the post controller colon colon class and I will use index method and simply save it okay now let me go and simply use the namespace over here so and see and I will say post controller simply save it now let me go into the controller and let me create the index method so simply I will return view and I will say post plat file okay simply save it okay now let me go to the resource file okay and here I will say post dot play dot php simply save it okay i will use the bootstrap cdn and you can see that simply the jax validation example i will give okay here i will create one form so i will use the bootstrap for that so i will say bootstrap form and here i will add title field if the name will be the title and i will define the id title simply i will copy it and here I will be add body so simply body column and then I will use text area for it text area and I will give the name name will be the body and then ID also I will define the ID will be the body and also I will define the class like form control okay simply save it here I will also add the ID for the form so I will say create post simply save it okay now what we will do when click on submit it should be called as x request and then uh, create the post okay so i am using the jquery so i directly use the jquery ctn for this example so simply paste it over here okay simply save it and now if i go here let me write the script okay so simply go here and i will write submit event over here so i will use create post dot submit and simply I will call function and simply here also I will pass as argument E and I will simply prevent default so I will say prevent default to submit the form and then I will simply call where title and I will simply use the ID of the title title ID and dot well function okay same thing i will get the body as well so i will see body and here body id okay same thing we are passing the you know like post request so we need to pass underscore token as well so i will simply call input and i will say name will be underscore token okay simply save it okay after getting all the field we will call we will write the hx request over here so dot hx and first i will pass type so type will be the post request then we will pass url 
so i will create the url over here and then i will be pass data as a ajax so i will simply call token first and underscore token variable then i will say title and then i will say title variable and then body then i will say body okay after that if everything goes right then i will get the success function response so i will say simply function and i will get the response over here right now i am just uh, displaying on the console so i will see response save it if anything goes wrong then it comes to the error so simply use the error function over here and yeah and simply copy it over here and same thing i will just display over here okay now i will create the post route for it so let me go here and let me create over here so post and i will say post route and i will say post controller colon colon class and then store method i will also define the route name so we can use it so post dot store simply save it now let me go to the controller and create function over here so i will say simply store method and return response i will pass the json response over here so i will say success success equal to i will simply pass request all okay simply save it what we are passing from the ajax that's only written right now and simply go here and let me add the url over here so let me go and simply route and i will say like post dot store simply save it and now let me run this example okay let me go here and let me clear and run the application again so php artisan sir okay now if i go here and simply i will say post okay you can see that simple design and let me also open the inspect element i will simply add the test and test and click on submit yeah that's submitted so maybe something going wrong over here so let me go here and go over here so dot well dot well everything is fine maybe this submit and now if i go here that id is fine okay and jquery is fine so let me go and check again prevent default spelling is mistake over here so i will say prevent default simply save it okay now let me go here and refresh it and submit it you can see that i got success with all the data like body and title let me pass it and save it you can see here i got another response now what i will do simply refresh if i don't pass anything i don't write like i don't uh, write any title or body then it should be give the error over here so let me go here and write the validation for it so what i will do i will simply add validator so laravel already validator facade so i will say simply mac and request all and simply i will define the validation over here semicolon and then i will be defined like title title right now i am just adding the required validation so simply body is also for required so simply i will say required okay save it okay and if validator has fails and then it should be returned with the error so return response and i will say json response and what i will say i will pass array so errors equal to validator and i will say errors and with all messages okay simply save it okay if everything will be the fine then it should be create the post so i will say post colon colon create and i will say simply title and title will coming from the request object so i will say request title and simply body and i will say request body and yep it's created a post and then here i will be simply return the post let me use over here the validator and validator and let me use the app slash model slash post okay both things i added over here now let me see and what i getting so let me give and refresh it 
now if i click on it you can see that i got the error with the response the title field is required and body field is required so what i will do simply i will go here and write the if condition over here if dollar is empty object and i will say simply response dot success sorry errors if error is empty that means it's success so i will say alert and post created save it okay and if there is wrong then i will display the error messages over here so simply i will add one div over here i will say alert alert danger and inside that i will simply add the url by default i will make it style display none so i will say none and now if i go here and let me define the id so i will say errors okay simply go here and i will simply first what i will do simply errors and add the css so simply display block and then i will simply each loop of the error so i will say each and i will define response dot errors and then i will say simply function and i will pass the key and value so key value and here what i will do simply call errors tav and then i will find the ul and then i will say and I will simply append the ally on it with the so you can see that ally and I will simply add the value over here okay simply save it and let me finish the semicolon over here let me save it and now let me refresh it and let's check it if I hit submit you can see that title field is required if I do again yeah you can see that it's append and append so let me clear it out as well here so simply I will do like uh, find ul and then i will say html should be empty okay now if i refresh it okay hit submit you can see the title field is required now let me click again title field is required now let me add test test body and hit submit you can see that post created now let me go to the database and refresh you can see that test body so you can see that how easy you can implement the ajax validation and it also use the laravel validation so that's really cool you don't use the jquery validation you can directly use laravel validation using ajax i hope guys this understand well and if you like this video then subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching guys